hold on easy baby Your daddy love you one more time No you don't have to Well my name is Jose Ramirez and I'm a blues musician I'm a touring blues musician um, this time uh, around we're in here in the Netherlands and uh, we're doing a nice tour with the Thomas to Sant band and basically the type of blues music that I that I try to interpret is uh it's something that's bluesy a very bluesy but at the same time a lot of the soulful roots of the genre so we play some soul as well as some rhythm old rhythm and blues like otis redding uh ray charles Eddie james um that kind of soulful root of the blues It's interesting because yes, you are right. Costa Rica is not a country where the blues is popular at all. Uh, when I was a kid, I was 11, 12 years old, and I decided I wanted to play the guitar. My dad, who is not a musician but it is a big uh, aficionado, like music fan, he said, "If you want to learn how to play the guitar, you need to start listening to the blues. Don't listen to rock. Don't listen to anything else. You got to learn blues first." So I followed his advice, and it was just when I when I started hearing the blues, I was a, as a kid, it was like a drug. You know, I just couldn't stop listening to it, and I wanted more and more. And I started when I was 12, listening to all the John Lee Hooker records, and uh, it just captured me. So that's the reason why. <laughs> Well, I think there is a natural Latin so feel uh, from somebody who is right. from a Latin country, especially like in my case, Central America, uh, because I wasn't, I was raised by listening to old music as well, like classic rock, because my dad is a, is a big uh, fan of old, old rock. Uh, so I listened to old rock, but mostly blues, but at the same time, living and growing up in Costa Rica, I couldn't help but listen to salsa music or calypso music or reggae music. So there's a little of that in just in my DNA, uh, evidently, because I was born there. Uh, but the blues was so, so much stronger than the other types of music that were around when I was a kid in Costa Rica that it's just kind of a, what I try to say is kind of a soulful Latin blues, the way I'd like to put it out there. Why I don't sing blues in Spanish? That's a, that's an interesting question. Uh, I know, right? Um, I've I listened when I was a, when I was a kid. I listened to some Spanish bands and some bands from Argentina, especially singing blues in Spanish. And even though I thought they were great musicians and they were playing the music the right way, when singing in Spanish, it kind of just distracts what you the listener because you're so used to listening to muddy waters and magic sam and john lee hooker and all those guys and then to listen to somebody sing 
similar to them but in a different language it just kind of distracts your ear and your mind so to me and it's something that my dad has always said is sing blues in spanish is like singing mariachi in english so it's it's difficult i mean it's it's a complex area i've never done it i've never done it because it just feels more natural when i sing in english but who knows you know maybe it'll come to me one day three years baby waited for you three years baby you're hard and make me blue oh yeah but now that you're back baby i found somebody new uh nowadays i personally believe that we live in a in a world in a society that's very divided uh, for political reasons, for given just the political situation of the world right now, things are a little bit divided. And um, the, the, some of the things that the world suffered from back in like the 30s, the 40s or the 50s, like racism and that kind of just awful things, somehow they're back in our society nowadays. Maybe not in a, in a so evident way, but they're still out there. So. What I'm trying to do with my music basically is like, yes, I'm playing blues and, and blues is known to be uh, a depressing kind of genre, but sometimes it can be healing as well. So uh, what I'm trying to do is put it through me as a channel, like I mentioned before, and have people experiment something, you know, leave, have people leave the show with something in their souls. Like they felt something, they felt sadness, they felt happiness, they felt excitement. Uh, and try to forget all of those problems that the, wor the world now has, you know, like all that div division in the world. Music is the universal language. And here is somebody who was born in Costa Rica who's playing blues in Europe. So um, it, it just comes to show people and I all I want to do is basically cut and, and bring down those walls, basically.